Hi everyone, I am Cemal Bulunmaz, your jewelry professional and you are here on Bulunmaz YouTube channel. As you follow from our videos in the channel, we are producing different CNC machines for jewelry. But today I am in front of you in this video with a new machine, Automotion Ball Cutting Machine. That's a ball cutting machine. You just put uh, gold or silver jewelry balls in the machine and you can make your settings and the machine engrave different diamond cuts on each ball. We will see later in this video. That's an automotion solution. That's not a CNC machine, that's a PLC machine. What means PLC? It's not a computer control, but it's controlled with a controller card and you enter uh, parameters, the values, so the machine follow parameters and make your diamond cut on the board. I will introduce you each option, our machine, one by one. First, I will start with the uh, ball holder. That's a precision part. It's really important to make that part smooth. The ball holder part, let me show you. That's the ball holder part. And second, I will explain you uh, horizontal diamond cut. It's used with a disc tool. We use bullet mass disc tool on this uh, head. Then I will introduce you a vertical head that's a uh, we call moon cut. That's the second motor. I will show you also with bullet mass tools, of course, as usual. By the way, you can go to to learn much more about our tools. Then I will introduce you the uh, ball box. That's the box. It has a little vibration and it's holding the boxes and that pneumatic head comes and uh, picks up the balls one by one and bring to the machine. Then next I will introduce you our camera which is really important because it needs to be uh, high resolution and you can see the ball on operation. And finally I will introduce you our control panel, how easy to use our PLC control ball cutting machine. Let's start. Here I can introduce you with a closer look, that's our ball holder, it's moving every direction. As you can see I'm moving it manually, the holder turns. When my machine is working this is turning left and right much quick. Then secondly I have the uh, horizontal, that's the disc tool I put, that's the horizontal uh, diamond cut head. It's also moving every direction as you see. When my machine is working, it will work automatically. Usually it cuts three, it makes three cuts, so it's working. Then next, there is the uh, vibration controlled ball box. As you can see the operation now, it just fix. Then I start my machine for the cut here. As you can see. And all this operation you can see in the camera. That's the ball holder. That ball holder have different operation. It's holding the ball, turning and it's turning all the entire holder left and right depending on your model. We use four servo motors here. One is in the bottom under the machine that's moving the holder left and right. So you want, let's say you want to make three diamond cut on your ball that will turn your holder in three sides. Let's say you want to make five diamond cut, it will turn it five sides. So that's the main uh, servo motor under. Then I have the second motor here to close and open the holder. So when my head brings these balls inside the holder, it just open and close to hold your ball. We will see all the operation now in the video. Then there are two more servo motors to turn the uh, to turn my ball, so the model is completed. Of course, the diamond tool is here and. It's giving the final touch on the ball to give the model. Here you can see the holder is turning, as you see, left and right to give the shape to my tool, to my ball. The bottom part is turning. Then the servo motor here just holding the ball. And finally, my two servos here turning the holder so it, it can make the model.
I continue with my horizontal diamond cut head. What is horizontal? That's my disc tool here. You can see it's turning a horizontal and making the diamond cuts on my ball. Then that head has three servo motors so it can have three movements around. Here again I get closer. That's my disc tool. That's the most important part of the machine. There is a natural diamond on it so when it cuts the ball it gives this uh, super shiny effect on your uh, silver or gold balls. So that this tool is connected to this servo motor. The servo motor is turning the tool in a certain speed. Then I have the second servo on the behind of the horizontal head. It, it can move the horizontal head different direction. And finally I have on the bottom of the head, the, there is the last third servo motor of this uh, group. It's moving front and back so it can make the touch. Let's start that operation and see how that head works. Here you can see backside the horizontal diamond cut head. It's moving in different directions and it's coming up and down to the ball. It's making the final cut. Here you can see my ball after cut. You can see that there are many shiny cuts on it. I got my first product. It's really easy to make different models on this uh, ball cutting machine. All you need to do is to combine working speed, uh, moving directions and your diamond tools. Combining different tools, uh, working movements, working uh, speeds, you will get really different uh, finishing you can have a look at our website for the different finishings of different molds you can always contact us to send you different variations you can always combine you can use different degree tools 120 130 140 or even you can order us different special size tools to get these final diamond cuts we saw the horizontal head, which is the most popular part of that ball cutting machine. You will be using horizontal head a lot because the most popular models of the market are used with the horizontal head. But now I am jumping to the second head, the additional head in this machine, vertical head. I have the additional vertical head. So the vertical head uh, works not with a disc tool, but a vertical CNC tool. You can also check www.bullonmas.com to see more about our tools. Let's have a look at the vertical end. It's a vertical end and you can see a Bullonmas CNC diamond tool on the head. That tool turns and cuts the ball in moon cut shape or other similar shapes. That's the spindle motor of my ball cutting machine. So that spindle motor just turns the CNC tool and make the cut. You can combine different tools, so each different tool will give different design. The designs are not about the machine, but about the tool and the machine working speed. So don't forget to combine your tool and the machine speed. And then I have a, a servo motor behind this block, which moves my spindle up and down. I told you about the diamond tool and I told you, you must combine the tools to get different designs. What that mean? Just have a look at our catalog on our website you will see different uh, tool designs. So each tool design have different shapes and different size. They give different cut on your uh, silver or gold balls. You just combine tools. You combine the moving speed of the machine and you will get different designs. Combining the tools and the speed. Why this is important? That's a good uh, way to hide your product. When you want to make a special ball which your competitors cannot copy, Tools are a good secret weapon for this. You can design a tool, we will help you to design a tool. You can order your different designs, different imaginations, and you can combine these tools until your competitor will find out what's using. It will take like two, three months and you will be successful ahead of the competition. I'm starting my machine with the vertical head.
I'm using a moon cut design, so that's a pretty uh, loud process, as you can see. So the tool is heavy moon cuts. I can speed up. I can use a bigger tool to make cutting one time, or I can use a small tool to cut in several times. It all depends on my uh, request, my imagination. Here you can see my finished moon cut ball. I'm working on silver today, and behind the ball you can see my moon cut tool. It's a diamond vertical CNC tool. It gives the final shine. My product is finished and additionally you can see the product always on this screen with my microscope camera. You can see all the details even much better than the real one. All the details are here, it's good for the final quality check. We completed two diamond cut process, two diamond faceting process on our balls. We saw horizontal head with uh, this tool and we saw vertical head with CNC diamond tool. And now we will study the ball box. That's the box which uh, my balls are held and the machine takes them automatically to bring to the diamond cut head. That's the ball box. You can put here, let's say half kilo or even more. And then there are lines, as you can see, the balls are going up automatically. Then this holder is just taking each ball and bring to the diamond cut attachment to work on them. As you can see, that's totally automatical process. You see the automatic ball holder is picking up the balls. I'm not working my machine, I'm not doing the diamond cut just to show you how the attachment is taking the balls and moving to the part. You just saw the that vibrating very critical attachment, that's uh, where the balls are held. It's very important to make that part uh, really precise because if you buy your machine from uh, bad guys, you know, uh, the guys who who are not really good, who are not really experienced, just want to follow the market and they are making some waste machines, that part will be will give you the most problem. So we focus in this part a lot and we make it precise so the balls can come and hold and you will not lose your balls all around. I'm now going to the control panel and I will study what you can do in the control panel. Here is my control screen, it's just one screen. All the settings are done on one screen. You can see that uh, control screen below my camera. I just showed you that camera shows uh, very focused on your diamond cut balls. And this screen you can have all the settings you see in the machine, such as the uh, which degree you can you will hold the uh, heads, which degree you can limit, which degree and how many times they will work, the speed, the which degree of horizontal diamond cut and then vertical diamond cut head. You can set all the speeds, all the movements, all the uh, things you can do with the machine is controlled here. After you make uh, your necessary settings, you can make all the settings, you can save your settings and when you are sure of everything, when you are sure your uh, silver gold balls are ready to work, you can just start the operation and you can keep watching. One important thing with such machines, that's a PLC machine, that's not a CNC machine. That means it's a fully automatic, fully, uh, you don't need to load models, you just uh, set the parameters and the machine can work continuously. You can just set and leave the machine, go your home, come next morning, it will be still working. If everything is going right if the electricity is there if no one came into your factory just be careful about this there are more settings of course it's uh, if i explain you all in this video the video time will double triple that's why you just contact us if you want to learn more about the technical specifications our technicians will give you more than enough information that was the automotion solutions bulu mass is currently developing for you that's controlled by a PLC machine. What that means, we normally make such CNC machines. You have to load your model, you have to design, you have to control each movement of machine. But that machine is a PLC automotion solution. 
Just check our YouTube channel, just subscribe below to see more automation solutions. When we have order from customers or when our guys have ideas and we make such machines, I'm always making a video and posting to you right immediately. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you liked it. I know some of our videos are too complicated. Some are funny, some are good you like, some you like, some you don't like. Just Write in the comments below what kind of videos you want to see in our YouTube channel, what kind of machines you want me introduce for you. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. I'll be more than happy. See you again in the next video. Every Friday we are posting angry machine. Every Friday we are posting new videos. Thank you so much.